Now let's travel towards the Atlantic to the US and see the condition of US in the 18th century. In the 18th century America, first of all we see that there was nothing called as settled agriculture and huge forest area was there that is the land was actually under forest and we see that the landscape which was there that is the land which was there was not under the control of the white Americans and the Native Americans were generally nomads who kept on moving from one place to another hunting gathering and some of them were expert trappers that is for fur they would collect animals so no settled agriculture the Native Americans nomads that meant that the agriculture had not stabilized as such in America in the 18th century but we see that suddenly there was a westward move and wheat cultivation that was seen in America. At this time when Thomas Jefferson became the president we see that lots of people started moving from the east coast towards the westward because America seemed to be a land of promise wherein they could grow cultivate the fields and actually grow lot of food grains. We also see that this area also was seen as an area for getting timber and skin of animals could be actually collected from here and the mountains could give gold and minerals. So the westward move was seen as a very promising move by the migrants. Now the American Indians had been forced to move towards westward and we see all this was happening during the time of Thomas Jefferson. The Indians resisted, there were a lot of fights and of course victories and losses and in the end a treaty was signed wherein they were forced to move towards the interior of the westwards. Now let us see exactly what happened when this westward movement started, what happened to the other population, the rest of the population, how did they react and what were the new changes that occurred due to the westward expansion about which I talk about in the next clipping.